made you made little Audrey so uh, appealing. Do you want to draw? Can oh, abs a, when, actually, when she was nine years old, and um, Audrey, uh, she she had her little hair in pigtails and bangs. And I remember when I was a kid, that's how my mom would dress me. So I immediately took to it, and I really Great. understood. I was like, I get this hairdo. I get this uh, this little girl. I get her. And uh, she reminds me so much of me. And so uh, Audrey came kind of very, very easy for me. And uh, she just looked just rough and tumble dry like a nine-year-old. Uh -huh. And um, I love that about her. I really did. She was just, she's a sweet little girl, just to right. look. And, you know, and so as you mentioned in, in, in this book, The Youngest Marcher, it's a story of how she marched in the Children's March and she that's actually right. ended up being put in jail. Put I mean, in that's jail. That's a history that was most shocking to me that I had never mm. known about. The city of Birmingham put 100 yes. children in Filled jail yes. for marching for, for civil marching rights. For marching for civil rights, yes. Um, I, I thought how brave. Um, I don't know an adult that would have just said willingly, I'm going to go to jail. I mean, um, like uh, Audrey did, right? Yeah, Audrey like Audrey did. Was, was eager to be one of the children taken to jail. Absolutely. She, she wanted to do mark. something. Um, and she wanted to make her mark. And I think it, it was different back then. Uh, community meant everything. And people really wanted to work together. So right, when children are part of, of the community and taken seriously, yes. right? Yes. The way Audrey was as, as people in the community who, who have, a, have a voice. Have a voice, absolutely. And she had a voice. That was, that was the beauty of it. She was uh, inquisitive like any little nine-year-old would probably be. And um, I, I, I keep saying, Marie, she wanted to do something. It was important to her to be a part. Um, I mean, imagine Martin Luther King coming to your house. Right, and, that, and we'll read a little bit of the book. Her family was friendly with Martin Luther yes. King, and he would eat dinner at their house, so mm -hmm. she was able to you know, witness his presence and his message in her own home. And, that, and, that Absolutely. Definitely, and that's where the book opens. Well, as soon as we get a little farther on this, we'll, we'll read the book. We're getting some great comments from uh, from uh, Hieronimo Wilson saying, this is awesome, and Sarah Jayaram is teaching civil rights in Singapore at the moment. Oh my goodness. So we, you, you know, Good for you, Sarah. <laughs> can, can, uh, yeah, and Bianca Kulshorn is also saying, you're doing a great job, thank you, happy hello from the other side of the ocean. So oh, thank you so much. It's true, the, the American civil rights movement, we have to remember, is inspiring to people all over the world. Yes. Um, so a book like this, so. like your book, The Youngest Marcher, and if you're just joining us, I'm here with Vanessa Brantley-Newton, who is a prolific children's book <laughs> illustrator. She il has illustrated many books and many more to come. Yes. Uh, but this is her most recent, and it is called The Youngest Marcher, and it's about a nine-year-old girl in 1963 who marched in the Children's March yes. and was sent to jail. Yes. So, um, and her name was Audrey Faye Hendricks, and Vanessa is drawing her right now. She's adorable. Um, do you want, why don't we read a little bit of the book? Absolutely. So that, so that people can, can see, you know, the author is Cynthia Levinson, who is fantastic. She is a fantastic historian yes, she uh, is. for children.